Hey, Trevor, this is exactly what you would look like if you were human. Meet Villager Steve. You guys, <laughs> you look like twins. Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft. Welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Steve mod. Yep, Steve now has his very own mod which allows you to befriend him in many different forms but also become him and take down his hostile clones. Sound good? Good, then let's get to it. So Grim, I am gonna take you with me because things could get a little bit hostile and a little bit scary. Treyarch, you're gonna have to watch yourself because as you can see, I'm in chain armor and I have myself a few weapons and food. So just stay safe, okay? Uh. Awesome. Right then, let's go and have a look at these Steves, shall we? Here we go. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is this, which is Steve Orr. And this is found very, very rarely and you will find out why so let's mine up some of this and you can only mine it with a diamond pickaxe and when you do mine it with a diamond pickaxe you'll be rewarded with a steve gem now you can use these for a lot of things which we're going to take a look at now so let's see what you can craft with this you can craft pickaxes swords armor summoners bombs all kinds of awesome things which are going to go over now. So, the first thing, Steve or we've already been over. Steve gems, exactly the same. You can also make a block of Steve if you do so wish, and it looks like this. Very blue and very awesome. A block of Steve, everybody. Looks amazing. And then we've also got Steve sponge, which is actually a really cool looking block. It doesn't do anything right now, but... It does look very cool. So there's that. A very blue looking sponge. It looks like he's been holding his breath for a very long time. Right then, onto the tools. Now, this is why the gems are so rare. Look at this. This pickaxe with um, three Steve gems and two sticks has plus 22 <laughs> attack damage. My iron sword has plus six. A diamond sword has plus seven. This has plus 22. And this is just a pickaxe. The sword is double that, plus 44 damage and requires two Steve gems and a stick, as you would imagine. The rest are all crafted in exactly the same way as normal tools are, but there's Steve gems instead of the normal things. But this sword has plus 44 attack damage, the shovel has 21, axe has 23, even the hoe is going to be pretty powerful. So there you go, a full set of Steve tools and weapons, and what goes with that? A full Steve outfit. Check it out. You can get his helmet, his body, his leggings, and his boots. Now, this isn't expensive because it's not that great. So, for the hat, you need five brown wool in a hat shape. For the body, you're going to need cyan wool in a chest plate shape. You're also going to need seven pieces of dark blue wool for the Steve leggings. And Steve boots, you're going to need light gray wool. So, let's have a look at what it looks like. So, I can actually become Steve. Right, then, let's take off our good armor and put on the amazing Steve costume. Check it out, guys. I am now Steve. Look at those shoes. Oh my goodness, those shoes. <laughs> Very nice shoes. So this is the Steve outfit. As you can see, it only gives you four armor points when you are fully clothed. But I guess it does look kind of cool. But for now, we're going to take it off because we're going to start looking at the actual Steves any second now. But first... There's a selection of random bombs in this mod, and these are quite cool, actually. You can craft this one with five iron ingots, one TNT, and a string. Then you've got the Steve bomb, which requires one bomb, which you've just seen, and then eight Steve gems. And then a super bomb requires the normal bomb, as you've just seen, and eight TNT in total. This is going to be powerful, and we're going to get to those at the end of the showcase, because all of these spawn eggs are Steves that we need to take a look at. So let's move this out of the way, let's move this out of the way. We're going to start with normal Steve, leather Steve, chainmail Steve, iron Steve, gold Steve, and diamond Steve, and multi-armored Steve. So all of these Steves will be able to help you out in battle, which we'll test in a second. So, let me introduce you to normal Steve. How are you doing, buddy? Regular Steve. Oh, I can hit him. I couldn't hit him before. No, Grim, don't do it. Grim, I'm sorry. It, it, it doesn't matter. No. Oh, why? Grim. Oh, he drops pork. Oh, my goodness. This is a Steve pork chop. I'm going to feed you this. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Grim, I, I bought you to protect me, not to eat innocent Steve. So that's the normal Steve. He'll just roam around. He won't protect you. He'll just chill out and, and in your world if he doesn't get eaten by a rabid dog. But we then have a leather armored Steve. Check him out. This Steve has full leather armor and a wooden sword. He has 100 health, which is quite a lot, and he will also help to defend you. We'll bring some mobs in in a second. We have Chainmail Steve, very cool, 100 health. 
still. But he has full chainmail, just like me, and a stone sword. And he is looking absolutely beautiful. Right then, I, where are you going? Where are you going? You're sneaking over here. Why is that? Right then, up next is, boom, Iron Armored Steve. He is powerful as well. He has an iron sword and full iron armor. Gold, as you can imagine, is full gold. Not great, but he's looking sparkly as ever. And then we have Diamond Steve. Whoa, this guy is OP. Diamond sword, full diamond armor. He's more powerful than I am. Look at him. Beautiful. <laughs> and now we have multi-armored Steve. So this guy actually has a bow. He has a gold helmet, diamond chest plate, iron leggings, and some leather boots as well. You better not be bullying Treorus. Just don't, don't mess up any of these things. He gets a little bit angry. So these guys will all protect you, and we'll show you that right now. Right then, so this could get a little bit messy. I should have spawned the ball in here, but you, you know what? I didn't. Right then, spider. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Golden Steve, you are too OP. Did you see that? He flung him in the air. Look at this. They just instantly die. Oh my goodness, these guys are powerful. Let's spawn in loads and see what happens. They just all get destroyed instantly. Oh man, let's put some zombies in here. Yep, those all die instantly as well. And they will protect me. Ah, protect me, Steve. Ah, one set me on fire. Quick, punish him. Uh, who was that? Was that a zombie in chainmail armor? Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Anyway, as you can see, if you befriend a few of these Steves, they will be so good for you. They will protect your back at all times. Grim, you don't wanna you don't wanna pick a fight with these guys. These guys will actually destroy you. Right then, let's go back through here and we're gonna take a look at some of the hostile Steves. Because these guys are seriously, um, seriously cool, actually. So we have a classic actually, we need to show you the classic Steve. The Blaze Steve is a hostile mob. Ender Steve. Creeper Steve, and we also have Villager Steve, who isn't hostile, and just a normal, straight-up hostile Steve. So here is Classic Steve. I think he looks a bit different than the normal Steve. He has half the health that the other Steve has, but he's looking beautiful. How are you doing? Oh, look at him. You walk very, very strange, my friend. Very strange indeed. <laughs> look at him. Go. Go, little Steve. You're the best. <laughs> You're the best. And you know what? We should see if we can grab... Um, let's grab a couple leads and see if we can lead these around. Because you can't officially tame them, but you might be able to... Yes, you can. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Come on, Steve. Oh, man. This is the best. Just put, pl plonk yourself there, buddy. Oh, man. This is cool. So you can actually have, like, these Steves following you around. Look at this. Come here, Steve. Let's go and um let's go and take over the world together, shall we? Come on. Um, they're not really that o obeyful. But anyway, <laughs> let's move on to Blaze Steve. Now this guy is aggressive. Look at him. Look at him. He's just ready for a fight. So he acts exactly the same way as a Blaze does. Every time you hit him and he like falls off a cliff, he will float. Doesn't seem to be attacking me though, which is awesome. Why are you not attacking? You were attacking before. You know what? I'm taking you out. Smoke everywhere. Jeez. And he will drop the same, exactly the same as a blaze does. All right, then. Ender Steve. Let's get a quick glimpse of this guy before he disappears. There he is. Look at him. Look at him square in the eyes. Look at him. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Right then. So he will exact. He will act exactly the same as an Enderman. He will um, hate water, hate light, and hate you if you punch him as well. Here we go. Creeper Steve. You can imagine what this one does. Look at his face. <laughs> this is amazing. He's wearing a green t-shirt, so watch out and listen. He will explode, and he will normally break the floor, but this is tough, tough iron, so it won't happen. Right then, Villager Steve's up next. Look at him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at him next to his normal Steve friend. I want to... Can I not grab... Oh, I can't grab you. I can't trade with you either. These guys don't do anything but look serious. Really serious. So, compare him to normal Steve. There's normal Steve, and there's Villager Steve, a beautiful looking specimen. You should go and chat to Treorus, actually. This is what Treorus would look like as a human. <laughs> right, then, next up, Hostile Steve. He looks like, um, he looks a little bit ill, to be honest. He will burn in sunlight, but he will also attack you. So, get out of here. Get out of here, you punk. What will you drop? You will drop arrows. Very cool indeed. So, that is pretty much all the Steves. There is something else I want to show you as well. It is a pig. So, let me just see. There's a couple of other things as well actually classic zombie and a classic pig so let me grab a couple of those so here's classic pig <laughs> so this is the old school pig with the old school face i think i've never seen those ears before as well which look quite interesting so there we go and look they're having a conversation look they love each other beautiful they're getting on very very well but this is the classic pig then we've got classic zombie who is bright green look how green this guy is oh my goodness i wonder if he drops feathers 
He might drop feathers as well. But anyway, that's a classic zombie as well. And I think that is pretty much the Steve mod. See? It's a lot more interesting than you thought it was going to be, right? It's really, really cool. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Classic pig and villager Steve. Ow. Don't get in arguments, okay? I forgot to show you something. So I'm going to show you them right now. I've got the bomb. We've got the Steve bomb and the super bomb. So we're going to blow these up outside, which should be awesome. Right then, let's go outside. Look at them all making friends. They're loving life. Right then, let's go outside and blow these bad boys up because these are awesome. They really are. Uh, I hope I don't die, though. That would be terrible. Right then, the normal bomb. All you do, you place it down, and it looks really cool. I love the style of these bombs. And then what you need to do is you actually need to right-click them to activate them. So try and stay as far away as possible. And there, oh, oh yeah, it does, it does quite a big explosion. <laughs> wow, oh jeez, I threw my sword, give me my sword back. Did you see how big that explosion was? That's the smallest of them as well. Oh jeez, look at that explosion, it's huge. Much bigger than a TNT, probably about four TNTs worth, so be very, very careful. Right then, bomb up next, this is the Steve bomb, the blue one. Oh my goodness, that is a lot more powerful than I thought it was going to be. It would be amazing if it like spawns Steve's as well. That would be, that would be beautiful. But let's see how big this explosion was. This is a normal bomb. This is a Steve bomb. Absolutely huge. And now we have one step further. The super bomb. Here we go. Let's plop it next to this cactus here. There we go. Oh, geez. Sorry, cactus. Didn't mean it. I, I kind of did. But here we go. Bomb. I survived that one. How is that even possible? This is the largest one. I managed to survive. <laughs> I'm not complaining, but wow, look how big this explosion is. So, a very, very cool addition to this mod. So now, go back to my previous self, where, where I haven't realized that I... Oh, jeez, there's a creeper there. Get out of here, creeper. <laughs> back to my previous self. So if you want to check out this mod, which I highly recommend you do, then please do go to the description below and you can find out more about the mod. And also, this happens to be the first video you see by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today. And also, a like would be greatly appreciated if you enjoyed the video, of course. Oh, can we get baby ones of these? No, we can't get baby ones. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time. Good bye. And I have myself a few weapons and food. So, just stay safe, okay? Uh. Awesome. Right, then, let's go and have a look at these Steves, shall we? Here we go. So, the first thing we're going to take a look at is this, which is Steve Ore. And this is found very, very rarely. And you will find out why. So, let's mine up some of this. And you can only mine it with a diamond pickaxe. And when you do mine it with a diamond pickaxe, you'll be rewarded with a Steve gem. Now, you can use these for a lot of things, which we're going to take a look at now. So, let's see what you can craft with this. You can craft pickaxes, swords, armor, summoners, bombs, all kinds of awesome things which are going to go over now. So, the first thing, Steve Orr, we've already been over. Steve Gems, exactly the same. You can also make a block of Steve if you do so wish, and it looks... Hey, Treros, this is exactly what you would look like if you were human. Meet Villager Steve. You guys, <laughs> you look like twins. <laughs> Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft. Welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we're going to be taking a look at the Steve mod. Yep, Steve now has his very own mod which allows you to befriend him in many different forms but also become him and take down his hostile clones. Sound good? Good, then let's get to it. So, Grim, I am going to take you with me because things could get a little bit hostile and a little bit scary. Treros, you're going to have to watch yourself because, as you can see, I'm in chain armor like this. Very blue and very awesome. A block of Steve, everybody. Looks amazing. And then we've also got Steve's sponge, which is actually a really cool looking block. It doesn't do anything right now, but... It does look very cool. So there's that. A very blue looking sponge. It looks like he's been holding his breath for a very long time. Right then, onto the tools. Now, this is why the gems are so rare. Look at this. This pickaxe with um, three Steve gems and two sticks has plus 22 <laughs> attack damage. My iron sword has plus 6. A diamond sword has plus 7. This has plus 22. And this is just a pickaxe. 
The sword is double that, plus 44 damage and requires two Steve Gems and a stick, as you would imagine. The rest are all crafted in exactly the same way as normal tools are, but there's Steve Gems instead of- I am now Steve. Look at those shoes! Oh my goodness, those shoes. <laughs> Very nice shoes. So this is the Steve outfit. As you can see, it only gives you four armor points when you are fully clothed. But I guess it does look kind of cool. But for now, we're going to take it off because we're going to start looking at the actual Steves any second now. But first, there's a selection of random bombs in this mod. And these are quite cool, actually. You can craft this one with five iron ingots, one TNT, and a string. Then you've got the Steve bomb, which requires one bomb, which you've just seen, and then eight Steve gems. And then a super bomb requires the normal bomb, as you've just seen, and eight... TNT in total. This is going to be powerful and we're going to get to those at the end of the showcase because all of these spawn eggs are Steve's that we need to take a look at. So let's move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. We're going to see the normal things. But this sword has plus 44 attack damage. The shovel has 21. Axe has 23. Even the hoe is going to be pretty powerful. So there you go. A full set of Steve tools and weapons. And what goes with that? A full Steve outfit. Check it out. You can get his helmet, his body, his leggings, and his boots. Now, this isn't expensive because it's not that great. So, for the hat, you need five brown wool in a hat shape. For the body, you're going to need cyan wool in a chest plate shape. You're also going to need seven pieces of dark blue wool for the Steve leggings. And Steve boots, you're going to need light gray wool. So, let's have a look at what it looks like. So, I can actually become Steve. Right then, let's take off our good armor and put on the amazing Steve costume. Check it out, guys. 